Go. Oh, oh no. Jamie, God! Jamie, guys! This is it, this is it! I'm so excited! Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You okay? <laughs> wow. God, I need to stop doing the voices. Yeah. It's killing my throat. Aw, get some water. No. Why not? Because I can get water later. Okay. Well, you smell something burning, and you know very well that where there's smoke, there's fire. In this case, it's a campfire. What's burning is everything. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jesus. Are you okay? Oh, no, are... When she gets the cream out of her pants, then she <laughs> Are are you okay? I wasn't expecting him to look so hot. Okay. She's just got a few gallons of liquid in her pants that she needs to clean out. Just kidding. Oh, no, no, no. I was just like. She Whoa. opened the floodgates. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My friend Damien, I'm concerned that you are engaging in destructive behavior. Oh, it's loading for me. Nah. Damien throws a shoe into the campfire. Which crackles and flares up. He makes some notes in a notebook he's carrying. Oh, sup, Sheeny. <laughs> Wanna get in on some sweet research? Friends, Sheeny, my own research has led me to the hypothesis that Damien is merely using science as a pretense for arson. What? No, this is super legitimate research. See, I'm even taking notes. Damien takes a pillow and throws it into the fire. <laughs> but friend, Damien... All you are writing is shoe, it burns. Pillow, it burns. Aravi's diary, it burns. Yes? Her diary! What's your Monster. point? These two are definitely not going to see eye to eye on the matter of fire. Research. Uh, not without you chiming in, that is. Calculester, remember. Every item Damien burns is an item that can't fall into the hands of some truly villainous person for truly villainous reasons. Damien is preventing crime. Uh, wow, Damien's burning stuff. So original. Damien, why don't you go do some research on what defines you beyond arson? Get some layers, my dude. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I am unsure. After all, is arson itself not villainry? Nah, 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 nah. Not if it's to stop even more villain or villain -y. Check it out. See this arsenic? Oh, this God. it it could be used to poison someone. Into the fire it goes. <laughs> that does seem to reduce the chances of poisoning by 97.8%. At least with that particular bottle of arsenic. No hacking for this hatchet. Get into the fire, motherfucker. This taser? Taste this. And by this, I mean I'm throwing it into the fire. I see. Yes, I see. But many of the items are harmless. Shows what you know. This sock could be used to gag someone. This rope, it could be used to tie someone up. So long, sock. Get wrecked, rope. This book could be used to bludgeon someone to death. And this paper airplane, it could give someone paper cuts. And can be vital if you have leprosy. This glove could be used to strangle someone if you really stretched out the fingers, like, a lot. I see your point. It seems unlikely, but it's better to be safe than sorry. In matters of bludgeoning, paper cuts, and strangulation. Thank you for doing this very good deed. Sick. <laughs> I can't get over the fact how he looks. I'm sorry. Hold on. I need a breather. <laughs> I I think that's the DLC yeah, it costumes because none of the costume looks like camp like. Yeah. Uh, not that glove though. We might need it to strangle some. So wait, so we're playing a DLC? No. Uh, no. I bought huh? the bundle that came with extra costumes. Ah, uh, I see. I see. I see. So thank you. So we are breaking immersion, but at least we got you to scream. To change a few pairs yes. of panties after this. <laughs> One Anyways, 
Not that glove, though. We might need it to strangle someone. You and Damien have a wonderful night together, filling up his notebook with even with more valuable insight. Teddy bear, it burns. Pagan Winnigan figurine, it burns. Antique leather dildo Damien found in the bunk of someone who will remain anonymous thanks to the blackmail payments, it burns. Your love for Damien, oh baby, it burns. True. I'm so. Aww. Aww. Sad what boy is this? Hours. I uh I don't know. I'm scared. I don't I'm <gasps> It's ah. Papa the Science Cat! Welcome! Magic Cat! Welcome! You new here? Don't fret! Let me explain how this works. I will prepare you a drink. The drink of the day. You may choose to drink that one. But if you're not interested, you're lucky. There's a mystery box with a second option. It could be better, it could be worse, but one thing is for sure, it will be mysterious. And these drinks, look, choose whatever you want, but I'm not responsible for whatever you put in your mouth. I'm a wizard in training! For you to test my concoctions is somewhere between kind and reckless. So get ready and good luck. I will trust the kitty with my life. No idea if I got this recipe right. Wanna try it? Otherwise you may have the mystery box. I hate how it's a gamble. I really hate this. Okay. This makes me scared. I'm gonna put my faith in the moon. Because UA is, well, the original name I went for was because it translates to moon, so I trust Aww, you. That's sweet. Yeah, no, totally. I was testing your common sense. And you pass! Your prize is the drink of your choice. Wait, what? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Dude, exact opposite. Uh, cool and fire sounds perfect. No, I'm not reading it. It's the same thing. <laughs> Double gift. Who doesn't like gift? I do. But... I feel like because you guys got the drink, I don't know if I should get the box, but I'm scared of the box because it said it could be worse. Then don't get the box. Uh, so, huh. they always, is he just always going to say that? Yes. Oh, interesting. Um, oh. What Go. am I doing? Go! The full moon is oh. a very powerful beverage. Not just you, but all of you. You need to take uh -huh. sips from it carefully. Ah. Uh. It will open your soul to this beautiful full moon we have tonight. And its power will shower all your stats, even if it's just a bit. Oh shit. Huh. Huh. Okay. Wow. The All right. The double gift. Oh, do I? The double gift. So generous of you. The beverage is designed to be gifted. Choose a friend that you want to share the grace with my humble concoction. This person will be gifted nicely. Oh. I have to pick. So. Oh, 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 oh. Let me see your stats. I'm assuming it's going to get stats, right? Probably. Uh, Wait, what stat is it for? Oh, who knows? That Yeah, so I huh. guess I'm just going to do it based off of who has the more lower stats. I think. I, oh, I think... It'd be... I think I know who has the lower one <laughs> after seeing the two. What do you... What do you mean, huh? It's well, only well, you, true. Are, are you bold enough to challenge my words? 
No. <laughs> You're right. You caught me. Yeah, so I think I'll share with um, Sin. Aw. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll boost up your, your boldness. Oh. Hopefully. Hey. By one. Nice. The cool dude. The cool dude. I really did it this time with the naming, right? This drink makes everything cooler. Specifically by renaming all of you with the coolest nicknames ever. <gasps> no. Uh huh. Huh. Hope you can stomach that. Happy trails. Is that all your? Is that all your drink did? No, we have different names. A celebrity. Again. Uh, uh... Baker. What is his name? David Tennant. Um. We both chose what? We both chose doctors. Oh, you take the doctor too. Uh -oh. <laughs> Tom Baker. Oh no! All right, Alan. Alan, oh, pick a doctor. I, I I don't I don't know movies. I'm I'm googling stuff. Maybe you can pick Matt Smith. Matt Smith, Christopher Eccleston. Uh, 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 Peter Capaldi. David Tennant was my favorite doctor because he was the tenth doctor. And... <laughs> Is that the only reason? Uh, mainly because ten's my favorite number. I have an unhealthy obsession with the number ten, and if something is ten, I'm immediately on my side. I immediately love it. Let's okay. let let's go with uh Danny DeVito. Uh, Danny, Danny DeVito. What? He wins automatically. Oh. He he is a celebrity. Dude. Wait. I hate the names. No. God. Oh, no. no. What did you do? <laughs> Why? We're never taking that cool drink again. No, 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 no. That drink sucks. Player's order decided based on which lottery would likely to secretly be a pro rock, paper, scissors player. Start debating now. Danny DeVito is good at everything. Yeah, Danny DeVito automatically. Danny is. DeVito. Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. Alright. Which and doctor I'll... would win in a rock, paper, scissors? Dude. Okay. Fourth doctor. Alright. I'm not gonna lie. I, when I discovered what Doctor Who was, I only knew of the TV show. So when I started watching it, I only watched from the the ninth Doctor up. So I actually don't know your Doctor. Hey, you own you watch probably more than me. I only watch whatever uh, Alfred had on TV when I was over. No. Uh, I don't remember. I usually watch the eleventh Doctor. I really like the eleventh Doctor. Then uh, I probably watch that. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh. <clears throat> I thought that's the eleventh Doctor. No. Hmm. Matt Smith was the 11th Doctor? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I, picked, uh, I picked Tom Baker, I picked the 4th Doctor. Yeah. Alright, but the real question is, who would win that rock, quick. paper, scissors? Dude. David Tennant, man. David Dude, Tennant's amazing. Tom Baker would destroy it rock, paper, scissors. But David Tennant would. He's awesome. Alright, alright. Um, Shaney, you give me, yeah. you give me your argument. Um... David Tennant goes oogity boogity. So of course he has to win Rock Paper Scissors. <laughs> you do. Just because Barty Crouch Jr. enters a, a, rock, a rock Paper Scissors competition doesn't mean he's gonna win. You do have a good point. Alright, Sin. Your argument. Uh, well, dude, if, if he was such a fan favorite that he was able to come back in the 50th special. He's got something. He got some paper. He got some rock. And you bet he got some scissor. Neither of you have given me a good reason as to if they're good at either okay, I have having a poker face no, or being good at... Starts is I... amazing at rock, paper, scissors. I have the most brilliant answer to your question. Are you ready? Banana. <laughs> Sin, any uh, rebuttal? Uh, yeah, I do actually. Uh, everyone knows.
knows everyone who wears scarves is clearly a rock paper scissors master it's just fact but does that beat having a banana i don't think david Tennant has a banana <laughs> maybe he did and we didn't i almost know. choked he's on hiding it he's so secret about it oh no da so david good. Tennant because at the end of the whatever it's season, David Tennant split himself into two different doctors, technically, so I guess he has more time to practice rock, paper, scissors with himself. That's true. That is true. <sighs> Though, nah, yeah. Plus... You know what? Actually, wait, hold up. Got it. But Tom Baker, uh, when in the 50th special, became a museum curator, statues are rock, paintings are paper, and you cut them out the frames with scissors. Museum curators, man. How does that beat a banana? <laughs> oh god, I hate this name. I know. God damn it. You done this. How I can know. you have done this? That's why you should have picked me second. <laughs> Alright. What... What do I have? I have... I'm pretty... I have good charm, I have good boldness... But you're dumb. I'm dumb, but everyone else is dumb. Basically. <laughs> Who would what be a smart one in the Calculester Big Smart. He is Big Smart. But very gullible. You spent all day trying to learn how to use the North Star to know your location and never get lost. It's a fierce challenge, and everyone gets, like, super lost. You say, fuck it, and try to text the North Star and ask for directions. Maybe no one never- maybe no one never asked? Of course, this achieves nothing. It's a star. And you should stop trying to resort to sheer absurdity to solve your problems. You get no badge. No one does. It was all tricks test. Uh, it was all a trick test. It was even nighttime. But coach awards you with plus two creativity for your lateral thinking. Ah uh, yes. Oh boy. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I feel like this is only going to be events with Dahlia. Uh, but it probably doesn't matter in the end. Let's agree to never all pick the same choice. Yeah. Got it. I just thought it was going to be Damien's choice. I don't know how. Oh yeah, yes I do, because you weren't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> None of that gets you any closer to banging your campmates. Though, which is why you're so relieved that you find Dahlia shortly after. She appears to be thinking? Harpoon gun, baby powder, tanks of compressed helium. What am I missing? What would you need talcum powder for? Oh, hey. Hunk o burning love. <laughs> I hate him. Behold my latest gambit in my all out campaign to have the best summer ever. You see, one key component to an optimal summer is an amazing tent. And an amazing tent needs an amazing tent supplies. I already packed all the essentials, a grill for cooking and my tent steaks, a snuggly teddy bear, aww, so I can keep my biceps, oh, toned and <laughs> squeezing all tight. And of course, a bag of live snails. I'm sure I don't even need to explain that one. But I just can't shake the feeling that I'm missing something. And if I'm missing something, there's a chance my that my tent will be suboptimal. I can't allow that to happen. But what could it be? I already got the cooler full of spare organs and spiked dog collar in case I find a dog. 
maybe I need a hand mirror for s starting campfires and checking out my looks. No, that that interfere with the tent's laser grid. Wait, what? I'm really stumped, but you look like a monster with a lot of camping savvy. Maybe you can help. If Dahlia's gullible enough to believe you have the camping savvy, she's she's probably got bigger problems. Well, here goes nothing. Oh boy. No one ever thinks about the tent's well-being. Bring a tent for the tent in case the tent gets cold. I think that one is creativity? Who knows? Everyone knows a survival setup isn't complete without someone to share it with. I think that's charm. <laughs> Wait. Um, charm or boldness? You have a lot of charm. Aw, oh, yeah. That's a fantastic idea. I can't believe I didn't think of it sooner. I've always believed in strength and numbers. That's what makes me such an excellent demonic warlord. That and my peerless intellect, gargantuan muscles, overpowering charisma, and unmatched humility. <laughs> and as a warlord, it is only fitting that I invite my entire army along. I am only ashamed I didn't think of it sooner. They're always been with me, fighting by my side, rubbing scented oils into my sore muscles. Fighting by my side while rubbing scented oils into my muscles. Oh, and you can come too, I suppose. It was your idea after all, and a good leader always rewards sage advice. Dang. You were kind of hoping Dahlia would just invite you to a sexy, to go s sexy camping, but this, fine, you guess. When Dahlia's warriors arrive, though, you realize that they're all super hot. Score. You spend an awesome e evening hiking through the woods. Forming a central massage train and giggling about Dahlia's secret fetishes after she falls asleep. Man, those warriors really have the hottest goss about Dahlia. You feel like you know her on a whole new level. Plus, they totally teach you how to open a beer with your eye socket. Oh, what the f- <laughs> Nice, you gain two boldness and one fun. Fascinating. God, my okay. stats are so high. <laughs> well, I know. 